Hey guys, it's Sunday and the weather is just perfect for laying down this Dynamat product. So today's episode is going to be on just that. It's about uh, 50, 51 degrees out, which may not seem very warm for most people, but nevertheless, uh, it is warm enough for us to do this. Uh, as I showed in my previous video, all it takes is a little bit of sun to help heat that metal, soften up that Dynamat, and we can get laying that down. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get to it. So as we're about to get started here, there is a little bit of wind picking up, uh, so I'm going to do my best to do this without any wind noise. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the other door with the window up so that that wind can't travel through. Nothing I hate worse than a piece of crap that comes with a product that's so expensive. Well, with a little piece of uh, redneck engineering and a coat hanger, I think we improve this thing by about a hundred times. Let's see how it works. A hundred times better. I'm going to patent that sucker. Well, due to the fact that obviously the sun moves, um, I'm going to continue just on this warm patch right here, and then we'll maybe we'll move the car and get some of the other areas and get that uh, warmed up some. Well, what turned into a bigger project than I thought it was ever going to be, we finally got both the driver's and passenger side floor all rolled in, taped up, and we've just got the back to do. This is not a fun project when you uh, when you get all these little dips and, and valleys and curves on your floor. And uh, flat product, although pliable, uh, does not bend very well into these con contours. But if you were doing a hot rod with a flat floor, you'd probably have the whole car done in about 20 minutes. Um, although I know that this project is going to pay off, uh, I'm done for today. Uh, my back is aching a little bit. Wah, wah. But I'm pleased with the way it's turned out. So I figure with that back end, uh, I'd probably have another couple of hours uh, getting up, up over the hump here um, and then back in here where it kind of swoops up, going up into the back deck lid. That'll be uh, a little bit of a challenge, I guess. And of course, getting it to curve up over those wheel wells. Like I said, if it's flat, it doesn't want to bend very easy unless it's super warm. So it really looks like it's going to be another day like today or even a warmer day than today would certainly help um, although I did break a sweat and you know bending in and out and having to cut the product up and, and whatnot uh, only cut my finger once but that's part of the course me and razor blades generally don't get along as you can tell so anyways when uh, we get this project finalized I'll give you a last review before we start putting everything back together so I hope you enjoyed this video. We will have some more projects coming uh, on this car. Uh, one of them is a little uh, something I've been wanting to do for a little while now. And uh, it's going to be some pinstriping. Nothing fancy, nothing LA style, but uh, it, nevertheless some pinstriping to help separate the two colors on the car, which I've never done in the almost 10 years since we've painted it. So. Anyways guys, I really appreciate you sticking around and uh, thanks again for the 100 subscribers, 100 plus subscribers, I think we're up to like 115 now. I really appreciate 
everything that you've all done to get me there and uh, keep watching our videos. Thanks, please subscribe and uh, take a look at some of the other videos.